Hey there guys, Aaron C. coming at you again today with another lesson. So what are we going to do today? Today I'm going to talk about composing a walking bass line in the middle of your jazz progression. Now, for those of y'all that are just uh, jumping on board here, new to this channel, maybe even new to the guitar, this is definitely more on the advanced side, okay? Now, in no way am I kicking you out by any means, but if you're just kind of used to more of the open chords or not even, not even familiar with the jazz stuff, this may not be your thing, And uh, but, but hang out with me. I'd love to show you something. All right, so with that being said, let's get into this, okay? Um, so I'm going to be going with just your basic C major 7, A minor 7 on the 5th fret, D minor 7, and, and G7, depending on which way you want to play it, okay? So uh, from theory standpoint, you call it a 1, 6 minor, 2 minor, 5 progression. Now I'm doing this in the key of C, okay? You can do this in many other keys, okay? Now, I'm going to compose this bass line where I'm not just going... I'm going to be hitting what we call passing tones, which are notes in between the chords. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can just do you can do this finger style where you use the thumb and your fingers for the rest of the chords, which is some Okay, so that is one way of doing it. Um, you could use a thumb pick. I'm not really big on them, but there's no reason you can't. If you already use a thumb pick, make sure you go with more of the heavier side just because they, they, uh, it's a little more friendlier, okay? Because they won't wiggle around as much, okay? Or you can kind of do more of the hybrid thing where you're doing a pick and your fingers. Usually, that is the easiest way to get this thing started if you want kind of more of that Joe Pass type sound. Okay, now, um, another way to do that is if you're going like from a minor 7 on the 6th string to a ninth on the 5th. So I'm doing the A minor 7, 6th, 5th fret on the 5th string. Fourth fret on the sixth string. So that's kind of the easiest way to do that. The only other thing I do if I'm trying to come up with the walking bass line is if I'm on a blues progression and say I hit this G13 here on the sixth string. It doesn't really always work. So I'm doing this little rockabilly thing here, but I've got a G13. Okay, and so forth. That's one way of doing it, but I usually, the kind of passing tones between chords, is really the one I find the most productive. So, anyways, thanks for stopping by. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing y'all again soon. Take care now.